Hello Internet, Pixel Geek here, and just responding to a request by Morty Levy and Matthew1818 on the Webflow forums asking me, how do you put Parallax into Webflow? Well, here you go. Oh, and Archiles Morales. All right, so here we go. This guy right here, and I'll put uh, links into the YouTube description box below. But how to do stuff like this now um, just a warning you guys after you learn this after you learn how to do this please use it sparingly because you do not want to give motion sickness to your users okay uh, this is a very extreme way to do it with so many layers going but after a while you could get kind of motion sickness so you know, with great power comes re great responsibility, right? Spider-Man? All right, here we go. So first thing uh, to do is either download the whole package or look at his GitHub. What I like to do is just go to the GitHub and try to dissect it from here. But here's the easy way to do it. Go to deploy jQuery parallax.js raw and then save this file into your hard drive. After you do that, go ahead and upload it to like your Dropbox public folder or something like that. And then uh, copy the public link of this guy, okay? And then go to your Webflow project, go to your site settings, scroll down to custom code, and put all this code in. So you have the script source going to that jQuery.parallax.js and then this piece of code that will activate it when it sees that uh, ID of scene. Okay, with me so far? Cool. Now we go into the design tool and we just make some layered elements. All right, so I'm gonna drag in a list give it no bullets make sure it's unordered okay then for each list item I'm gonna call it layer and each layer is going to have a different data depth data depth no, no, come on data there it goes depth and this one will have one same thing with this give it a class of layer then go to the cog and give this a data depth of say 0 0.75 and then rinse and repeat for all the layers that you have okay data depth 0 0.50 all right, so these data depths is what's controlling the speed of the actual um, layer when you're mousing around in the canvas. So let's just give these different styles as well. So I already made some styles, so that one is going to be, there we go. Um, there you go. So that one has width of, 400 height 400 and a background of yellow and then this one oops go layer three and this one has green so these subclasses have nothing to do with the parallax um, effect it's just that I'm giving each one of them a, a specific height width and background color that's all what is actually controlling it again is these data depth so you can go ahead and mess around with those color or with those uh, values all the way from 0 to 1 okay and last thing I need to do with my unordered list I need to give it a class of scene and also an ID of scene okay Press publish, publish site, spaceship. Whoa, so awesome. Okay. All right, if you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below or go to the forum.webflow.com and 
you can find me there I respond to as much as I can whenever I have time but yeah if you have any more questions on how to do stuff in Webflow just hit me up all right see you guys